Hi, everybody. It's Katie Harris but with the Mitochondria Code. So thanks so much for being here. And today we're talking about NAD and when too much NAD becomes a problem. So most of us have been told that more is better, right? And more vitamins, more water, more antioxidants. And in the longevity world, it's NAD. It's all about NAD. But what if you could have too much NAD? Is that a thing, right? Yeah, but yeah, so the the very molecule that powers your cells can actually backfire. Um, and today I wanna share a case study in, in which this happened. So from my practice, we had a woman who was overfueled with NAD and it made her fatigue and mast cell symptoms that much worse, okay, not better. And trust me, the, the takeaway here is change how you think about supplements because what you hear on Instagram and TikTok, you know, there's always a supplement that somebody's raving about. Oh, I took NAD and it was the most amazing thing in the world. And, you know, whatever the, the supplement du jour is today. And the truth of the matter is it may be for that person. It might be the one thing that they needed that they didn't have that made all the difference in the world. Um, but it's not going to work for everybody. And your composition, your biochemistry is unique. What you're deficient in is not what somebody else is deficient in versus somebody else. So the, the key message here is the body works one way, okay? And when it deviates, that's when you get manifestation of disease and, and different health conditions. So what we want to do is get you back on track. Um, and how that affects you is going to be completely different than how it affects everybody else. So you're watching the Mitochondria Code where we break down the science of cellular energy and longevity into simple, actionable steps. So let's go over it. Let's talk about this patient for a second. So the patient had long COVID, big problem for lots of people. And she'd been struggling for 15 months, right? Crushing fatigue, pot syndrome, mast cell activation syndrome. Um, and before she came to me, she had high dose NAD for months, right? Both IV infusions and the under the skin shot, the subcutaneous shots, plus the NMN pills every other day, or every day. So NMN is the precursor to NAD, right? So in order to make NAD, you have to have NMN. Uh, so she was taking that plus the infusions, plus the, the subcutaneous. And the idea was to supercharge her mitochondria. Sounds great, right? Uh, one paper, it does. NAD sounds amazing. And when you see all the influencers, you're like, wow, I have to try that. So it's a spark plug for energy production. That's what it is. But here's the twist. So after all of those months, her symptoms weren't better. They were in fact worse. So what's going on here? What's What's happening? What is NAD anyway? I mean, it's short for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It's a mouthful. It's hard to get out to. So a molecule that your mitochondria use to turn food into energy. Okay, so you are a hydrocarbon combusting machine. And when you eat, that turns into carbon and um, oxygen. And uh, the ultimate goal is to get it to, to water and create energy. So you need NAD to, to do all of that stuff. Without enough NAD, you're going to feel tired and foggy and you age faster. Well, a lot of things do that too. So NAD is not the only thing that does that, but you'll definitely feel it if you need NAD. Um, and so it's no wonder that the anti-aging world loves it, right? The problem is that your body doesn't just use NAD for energy. It also has to break it down, which is one of the reasons I don't encourage people to take uh, NAD tablets. That's why you don't see them. You see like NAD sublingual injections, infusions, uh, patches. There's all different kinds of ways to get NAD into the body. But when you take an NAD pill, it has to break it down, which requires more energy, ironically, right? So that breakdown process use, uh, uses up something called methyl groups. And these are little chemical tags, okay? It's a, the body's way of, you know, organizing. It, it's an operations thing. So it um, the chemical tags are crucial for repairing DNA, right? So, and making neurotransmitters and basically keeping your cell membranes healthy. So when I ran her advanced membrane test, uh, which is what we, this, the prodrome test, right? Uh, we look at ceramides and sphingomyelins, and that ratio was very high, which is a red flag for membrane stress. Do you have membrane stress? I don't know, because you'd have to do the test to find out. So that's, you know, this is where you want to get a provider to help you manage even supplements, right? Um, so find somebody that is doing what it is that, that you want to get done and, and work with that person. Okay, so why does it matter what the membrane test says? 
Well, if your membranes are damaged and you keep pouring in more NAD, your body has to work over time to process it. And you can end up burning through your methylation capacity. That means less repair, more inflammation, and in this case, mast cells on high alert. So mast cell activation isn't just allergies, right? And, and that's what we associate it with. It can cause rashes and flushing and gut problems and brain fog. Um, and in this case, in her case in particular, it was flaring big time. Now, could it have been something else? Sure, of course, but the timing lined up and she had just stopped NMN completely and started tapering NAD and her system was in shock. That told me we might be pulling the crutch away too quickly because the body is now reliant. It's not, it gets lazy, right? Like anything, if, if somebody else is gonna cook me dinner, well, you know, <laughs> great. Then I get lazy and I don't wanna make dinner, right? But, and it's the, the same thing, in the body, when you give it exogenously from the outside, right, you give NAD from the outside and the body's not forced to make it, then it starts to rely on that process and it starts doing other things because it becomes dependent on this other source, right? So you don't want to pull back too fast. If you've been taking lots and lots of NAD, you want to wean that off uh, because you got to rebuild the foundation underneath. So here's the big lesson. Um, NAD isn't always better. Like more NAD isn't always what you need. Um, and think of it like giving a tired worker more coffee. At first they go faster, right? But if the roof is leaking and the tools are breaking, all that extra work just burns them out faster, okay? In your cells, the membrane and the methylation pathways aren't always ready. So pushing high NAD can overload the system. So what can you do? Well, uh, what we did for this particular patient was slow down the NAD taper. So we need to get the body and the membrane back into making its own NAD, right? So instead of cutting it off completely and quickly, we eased her down while adding in support for methylation. How do you support methylation? Methylation is supported by methylfolate, which is B9. Make sure it's the methylfolate, methyl B12, and betaine. So those are the three vitamins in, uh, that you want to take to support methylation. How do you know if your methylation is overworked? You get a set of labs, look at homocysteine, that'll give you a good indicator if you're over methylating or under methylating. Uh, the membranes, so phosphatidylcholine, plasmalogens, these are used to repair the cell's outer layer. And if you are low on phosphatidylcholine and plasmalogens, then you have some work to do. How do you know if those are low? You get the prodrome scan test, um, and that will tell you what your membranes, it'll give you a, a good indication of how your membranes um, are functioning. Antioxidants, so vitamin C, alpha lipoic acid, and acetylcysteine, they help control oxidative stress during the transition. And of course, if you wanna find out what your antioxidants are, you can take a test like True Health, right? That's a great way to get a, a real snapshot and understanding of what you specifically are deficient in, <laughs> right? Because you can take lots of vitamin C, but too much of anything is gonna cause problems, right? So, and to, if you don't need that particular vitamin mineral, it is just a waste of money. So uh, get tested is you know the, the basic message here. I would just find out what it is that you need, get your core labs, let's look at your membranes and do um, a full scope of, of your antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, uh, and how they are so we can custom tailor what it is that you need specifically. And, and you can, uh, the other way to keep mast cells calm, when one of the things that we did was quercetin, vitamin C, and thymosin alpha-1, which is an amazing peptide for the immune system. So this isn't just about NAD, right? It's about the idea that biology loves balance. Your body wants to be balanced and you can't just crank one lever forever and it's always gonna work, right? It might work at first, but then you know if other things aren't happening to compensate or balance that, then you just go to one side, just like taking too much, too many antioxidants. If you're taking massive amounts of antioxidants and you don't have any oxidative capacity, you're going to have problems. That's just the way it is. So this is one of the things that you want. This is one of the reasons you want to work with a provider. But here's what I want you to remember. So NAD is powerful and it is great in the right situation, but it's not always benign in high doses long-term for everybody. Look for signs that your repair systems are falling behind, such as fatigue, inflammation, rashes, brain fog. If you've been on NAD or NMN for months, think about membrane health and methylation support alongside of it. And sometimes less is more, like just take a break and see if that, what effect that has on the body. 
So if you found this eye-opening, be sure to subscribe to the Mitochondria Code because next time I'm going to talk about the other side of the equation, what happens when you have too little NAD and how to rebuild it the right way. Your cells deserve balance, so let's give it to them.